Looking to switch to VoIP, but you're not ready to let go of that good old landline telephone? Well then keep watching because today we're talking about ATAs or analog telephone adapters and how they make that possible. So what's the difference between a traditional landline telephone and a modern VoIP phone? Well, the biggest and most notable difference is the fact that you use completely different networks to route your call. Though they may look and function in similar ways, when making a call, traditional telephones connect directly to the PSTN, or Public Switch Telephone Network, and a VoIP phone connects to the PSTN through the internet. An analog telephone adapter allows you to plug in your traditional non-VoIP telephone into your internet router, effectively turning it into a VoIP phone. The ATA's built-in processor digitally encodes your voice as you speak and then sends that data to your VoIP provider. Your VoIP provider then connects you to the PSTN, who transmits your call. First and foremost, you need to establish service with a VoIP provider. Without a VoIP provider, you can't connect to the PSTN. Visit GetVoIP.com for a solution that fits your needs. Most ATAs will include an Ethernet cable, power supply, and of course the device itself. Setting up an ATA is as easy as any plug-and-play system. It's usually as simple as plugging in your power, your analog telephone, and your Ethernet line. But this may vary from situation to situation. Depending on how many lines your ATA is able to support, you may find more input ports. Simply unplug your current phone from its analog outlet and plug it directly into the inputs labeled phone. Make sure to keep track of the corresponding number. Your digital lines are labeled LAN and WAN, local area network, and wide area network. You can think of LAN as your internet input and WAN as your internet output. Plug the ethernet cable coming from your router or internet box to your LAN port. Then connect the Ethernet cable which came with your ATA box into the WAN port. Then connect it to your computer. The reset button is quite useful in an emergency situation and is able to reset your ATA to its original factory settings. All ATAs require a power source. Some ATAs are able to draw its power directly from the Ethernet cable. Be sure to know what the power requirements are for your ATA. Once your device has power, you'll notice that the corresponding lights will show you what has been plugged in. Your hardware setup is done! It was that easy! Basic ATAs can cost as little as $20, but more advanced ATAs can cost upwards of $200 depending on how many phones it's able to support and the processing power. However, before you commit to buying the equipment, make sure you check with your VoIP service provider, as most providers usually offer the ATAs for free. Now the next step is configuration. The configuration of your ATA all depends on your VoIP service provider. Many providers will include software or web tools to help you easily configure your ATA. Configuration should only be a matter of filling in a few blanks. It usually requires a combination of basic information about your internet service and VoIP provider, such as your IP address, proxy information, and DID number. All of this information will be provided and made available by your providers. If your ATA is supporting more than one analog telephone line, keep in mind that you have to configure each one individually. This method of analog to digital conversion also works for other analog devices, such as the fax machine. This works because they both use the PSTN to transfer information. Setting up and configuring your fax machine should be similar if not identical to the process for your landline telephone. Using an ATA does save you time, but more importantly, money when switching to VoIP. You won't need to buy new equipment, and you'll get to keep all your existing hardware. Thanks for watching this episode of How It Works, and this is David with GetVoIP.com. Make sure you subscribe and like, and I'll see you later.